Good morning, folks. Uh, a bit hungover today. Raclette last night, which is an upside down fondue. Meat and cheese. Oddness. Anyway, um, uh, I'm going to just show what I'm thinking here. I still believe this to be true from a, a previous uh, couple of pictures I made where uh, we have a pole up here and then price flags here and then we have another pole there. In both cases, these, uh, these poles and flags uh, have been broken. So here's a flag limit here. Uh, price came back down and it hasn't reached any significant target on this time frame. It's just come down to what looks like no man's land. I mean, there is a reason in there, of course, but it looks like nowhere. So I think it's going to come down here to the base of this of this pole. Um, <clears throat> but my bias has kind of changed. In the meantime, I think it's going to come up higher before it gets there. Um, and the reason for that, I think 15 minutes maybe where I see it. Um, hold on, 30 minutes. Uh, yeah, so we have, here's a flag where price drops out here, drop base, kind of base, not a nice one, and then a drop again, and it's, uh, it looks like we've just been taking out supply as we come up here, so, um, and this spike here comes up into, again, into sort of no man's land in there, I guess that's a nice fake out zone, um, so I thought, well, maybe it's gonna, maybe it's gonna come up higher, so what's it doing right now? And uh, I looked for the source of, of this high, which is down here, and uh, it just looks like price has come back to come back to the source and it's kind of compressed down here to make what's possibly <laughs> a fake out into this, which was actually the source of this high. Um, and it, it doesn't look particularly tested this uh, until now it did kind of compress away from there a bit. Um, so I thought, well, maybe this is compressing down into here to make a fake out. Um, down time frame. Where are we? Yeah. So I saw this kind of uh, this zone here. The one minute shows it better. Yeah. So I saw this uh, this area where price was trying to get past, and then it did get past, and it made this flag limit here. And I was watching to see because I, I planned to buy when it came back down to this area. Um, and when it came back down, I just saw this quick spike here. And when I saw that, that's when I entered with a, uh, and that's just the, that's my um, spread up to there. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, so, um, and I see that it didn't, when it, <clears throat> excuse me, when it made the spike down here, when I saw that it didn't go underneath this point there, I saw this to be a fake out, so a fake out of this, of this break. Uh, and so I entered and, off it went, and I, I took uh, I took my my risk out up here somewhere. So now, now what it's doing, or what it's possibly doing, is uh, let's go out to this. So again, we have this. See these three touches here. It's quite a nice uh, uh, resistance line, and maybe we're about to get uh, it's it's broken this, and maybe we're about to get uh, an FTR if it comes if it comes up here. Then I'd consider that a failure to return back into. What uh, this this flag or price action zone here? Uh, so yeah, it might make a, an FTR there. Um, I'll also be I, I also consider this maybe to be a flag limit forming right now. And if it is a flag limit, then I'll look for an entry when it come if it goes up and comes back down. So an entry at the flag limit, but it's also an FTR. So this is when uh, flags are FTRs, basically. Anywho. Um, there you go. That's what's happening right now. Uh, cheers.